Gurumila Mahagat, Kahirlik. Kahirlik, we had a debate um, recently on nursing home care to which I contributed myself, but I would like if we could uh, continue that debate um, early in the new year, certainly, on the care of older people in nursing homes and, and home care settings. The Oireachtas Life and Dignity Group yesterday welcomed uh, Trinity College Dublin Professor of Medical uh, Gerontology Desmond O'Neill and many people will remember Professor O'Neill for his excellent work uh, on uh, the Lee's Cross report and his continued advocacy uh, for the need for respect for the dignity of, of, of older persons and particularly and not exclusively in the context of nursing home care. He gave us a very challenging and revealing overview of things yesterday, like the fact that we've gone from having 20% nursing homes being in the private sector in the 1980s to about 70% in, in 2017. And while Professor O'Neill and others don't have a problem with mixed public-private system of nursing home care, he is rightly sceptical of the ability of regulation alone to guarantee the kind of standards that older persons deserve. And he warns of the minimum standard required becoming the maximum uh, that is available. He noted that the national nursing home regulations have nothing to say about the need for proper linkage with secondary health care settings. There's a hands-off, out-there approach to nursing homes which is not acceptable given the particular needs uh, of many residents. And when one thinks of the review that we're supposed to have had uh, into the deaths of older persons in nursing homes during the COVID crisis. Where stands that review? Many people died, and many people died in an un unacceptable way that left many people traumatised. There have been calls for inquiries. There seems to be very little about it now. Um, there's no person with gerontological expertise in the National Treatment Purchase Fund, which is the commissioning body for nursing home services. The people at HICWA who regulate are not clinicians, they're not clinical people, uh, they're administrators. Good luck to them, but they're not clinical uh, people. And one striking point that Professor O'Neill made was the absence of social uh, and recreational spaces in many of our nursing homes. And this is something I'm sure we've all noticed, that when you contrast this with the kind of space uh, and amenity which we expect from hotels, with which we contract privately for services, you see how a lack of public expectation of quality in our nursing homes is, is perhaps part of the problem. Uh, Professor O'Neill warned against the kind of negative characterisation of being in a nursing home, gosh, I'd hate to go there. Um, and maybe that's leading to lower expectations and lower standards. So in conclusion, I would say we need to look at clustered accommodation of maybe between 12 and 15 residents, what's called the greenhouse model. And we should perhaps ask ourselves about nursing homes. You know, in how many of them are people expected to share a room where they would otherwise like to be in a room of their own? And in how many uh, nursing home settings do residents have the space they need for their own furniture, for pictures, photographs and mementos? Those are kind of questions that I think could be indicators to us around the ongoing issues of quality that we need to investigate. God.